Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dennis here, and welcome to this video about um, Hell Gullux. So I killed it on I killed it on an Ice Lightning Mage. I've already job changed back to Fire Poison because I just couldn't stand Chain Lightning. So yeah, we're back onto Fire Poison. This is my home turf, and this is going to be a post commentary because my live commentary got fucked up. This is actually my fifth take for this video because it just keeps on screwing up. Uh, the voice didn't work, but thankfully I got the actual video to work. So right now I'm talking about uh, an alternative to using a Hyper Rock, which is um, if you have two computers, you can use Boss Teleport to go to like Pierre or any of the other um, Root Abyss bosses. And if you do that, you can just um, Boss Teleport, then use a Hennessy Town Scroll, just like you used to be able to do. Um, I think like a year ago you were able to do it. So yeah, very convenient. And also I summon a viral slime here. As you can see, uh, that slime is what we're going to be using for mob control for Helix right now. So you, you guys will see it in the video as we actually start fighting Helix. Um, other things I talked about in this video are the fact that um, if you go up Gullux's legs, if you go up his legs and you kill the mobs there, um, the mobs are mini bosses, which means it gives you ambition and willpower. And you can uh, max out your willpower and ambition that way, 500 every single day. And it's very important to max them out because it gives uh, extra PDR and extra percent status resist. So, yeah, currently I have 50% status resist. Um, I only have um, level 86 willpower right now. I'm still working on maxing it out gives me 17% status resist which is absolutely amazing so yeah when you max it out you get 20% status resist and it is vital for you to have high status resist when you're bossing so yeah any, sing any boss like if you're in hard magnus and you hate the shadow web or you hate zombify if you have high status resist you can ignore those status effects if you're in chaos queen and she tries to put you on fire you can ignore that if she tries to blind you you can ignore that key reverse you can ignore it so it's absolutely vital in almost every single boss it's absolutely vital that you have it so yeah very very um useful to have so um yeah anyways um oh man i'm i'm a little bit jumbled on what i've talked about already and haven't because i've just done so many takes of this video but um anyways Currently, it's Monday, and, uh, you know, I'm still preparing for my pharmacy school interview. Tuesday, I'll be leaving to the hotel, and Wednesday, I'm going to be actually um, doing the interview and coming back home. It's going to be a, um, I believe, a four-and-a-half-hour drive. I'm currently in Houston, Texas, and uh, I had to go to Dallas, so it's going to be pretty far. Four-and-a-half hours to get there, four-and-a-half hours to get back, and I'm not looking forward to the drive. That being said, I am looking forward to the actual interview, though. I know a lot of people would be nervous about it. Uh, I myself have to prepare for the interview, but I'm actually really excited because I feel like it's a very good opportunity to grow myself because um, it'll help me develop because uh, it's a good experience to have. So yeah, uh, definitely the interviewing stuff, I'm really excited about that. And the reason why is because it's such a cool idea. It's a it's a cool concept for me to actually um, cuz for the interview they gather like several people to ask you questions, you know. Uh, it could be a current pharmacy student in their school. It could be um, teachers in the pharmacy school. It could be um, some high people like some high up ranking people in the board of directors or whatever. And just a whole bunch of people, it could even be licensed pharmacists that are actually working and they get called to help with the interview process. So it's, it's such a cool idea that all these people are being gathered and it's so cool to think that they're investing so much resources calling all these people to interview us individually and group interviews. I think each interview takes like four hours long. So it's such a cool idea that they're investing so much into this pharmacy thing. So, you know, it's like... It definitely does make me feel like um, everything that I've been working on is really um, finally starting to take root. So after I get past the interviews, I'll see if I can get accepted into pharmacy school or not, and yeah. So this is the first of my interviews. I have a second interview coming up, I believe, in a week or so. But yeah, as you can see, I have no link skills over there, but no problem. Um, we do. If you did recall, two rooms to the right from, from this current room, if you go right two portals, I had, well, you can see as a rune of swiftness, so I will be using that later on. But, uh, yeah, of course, we walk in, lag, and yeah. So, um, I guess it's, yeah, it's a Helix solo. It's it's pretty good. It's, it's more stressful than the Ice Lightning Mage, because the Ice Lightning Mage's Chain Lightning does the job. Over here, you're using a uh, Slime Virus, and it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes the Slime Virus will spread through the whole entire bottom, and if that happens... You'll never get any numbers 
but other times the slime virus only stays on one side so the numbers start adding up on the left side or the right side depending on where the slime virus went and in that sense it starts getting a little uh, stressful so yeah but of course um, if you hit high damage at least like 35 mil per line you should be able to kill it so yeah um what else was I talking about yeah um so the pharmacy interview thing basically how I'm preparing for it I'm starting to um, you know I'm researching the questions how they're asking it also researching uh, how I should be uh, presenting myself to them in terms of like the in terms of like how I should be presenting my eye contact with four people interviewing me at the same time and there's also other stuff like group activities so I have to try that out as well I you know it's just a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I have to practice on but I feel like it's pretty fun so yeah as you can see here in Helix I'm uh, using I'm jumping down and using a teleport mastery to kill the or just teleporting downwards after I jump to kill any mob under me so that's a very effective technique to use if you're a mage so yeah I go down there I check to make sure the slime virus has spread and we're going in for the attack. So um, over here, after I beat the eyes up pretty well, I do pause and um, I leave. And it's very important to make sure your slime virus spreads effectively. Because if it doesn't spread effectively, then you can't leave the room to get your rune of swiftness. So yet, very, uh, it's very important to make sure that you don't get um, you don't get any monsters to go in the middle, so you don't get the count to go up. So yeah. Um, slime virus here spreads very effectively, very lucky with this, well not lucky, but just very um, good that it spread out that quickly, because usually it doesn't spread out that quickly, but yeah. So, uh, I was going to wait for the infinity cooldown, infinity is the skill on page up, um, if you see it there, it's on cooldown, but then I decided, you know what, we're doing a recording, I don't really want to wait, so yeah. Um... So we're going to go ahead over here, the Rune of Swiftness is right over here, we're going to use that, then we're going to jump right in. No rebuffing or anything because um, 2 minutes on most of my buff, or well, on booster I have 2 minutes left, that's more than enough. So yeah, we're just going to go straight in for it. No rebuffing, no uh, waiting for skill cooldowns, we're just going to go at it. So yeah, uh, pure DPS over here obviously. Uh, some characters have a really hard time at Helix because they don't have any mob control. You know, characters like Xenons, Kaisers, they do have a way to summon things on the bottom. Uh, wind Archers as well have a summon, but it doesn't do any damage. So I'm sure if you're a Wind Archer, it's going to be pretty stressful. But yeah, uh, speaking of which, I'm pretty excited because um, I'm juggling a whole bunch of things at once right now. And I really wanted to put out a video for you guys just so you guys could, uh, I guess, see, like, see what I'm doing right now. Because, um... In Maple right now, there's a lot of stuff going on for me. Um, I actually have a, um, you know, a lot of fun stuff happening. We recruited a few YouTubers into our guild, and we also have a few guild juniors who started YouTube channels. So in a different video, I'll talk more about that, but I'll leave links in to their channels in the description below for now. But as you can see, I have... I'm at number two right now, the two count, if it goes to five I die, and shortly after it goes up to three, so I'm just like, oh shit, I gotta go down. I use my uh, meteor skill, as you can see, it killed a monster on the bottom left of the screen, so meteor skill is very useful. It shows, it not only kills the monsters, but also shows that if there are no numbers popping up on the right side, that the right side is completely taken care of by my slime virus. So yeah, at this point, I don't care, full DPS, slime virus handled the right side, the left side should be safe. So we go full DPS and we kill it. So um, also, one of my uh, good friends, Alan, he's having a birthday, a silent TM, very good friend of mine, and a mentor of mine as well for merchanting. He's having a birthday, so we're definitely going to celebrate that. So yeah, I think his birthday is actually tomorrow when I have to leave for the hotel room. So hopefully I can participate before I leave. But right now, I'm kind of just cleansing myself in the sense where I'm trying to uh, drop, because again, there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on with me and my friends in game, so I'm trying to drop all that out of my head right now. We're focusing strictly on the interview and I'm cleaning, it's kind of like a cleansing, I'm trying to drop all that out for now and just focusing on the interview. I will be bringing my laptop to um, the hotel with me because after I'm in the hotel, after I'm settled and all that kind of stuff, there's no point in preparing more for the interview because I should be already prepared. And at that point, I'm going to relax, log on, do a little bit of bossing, I guess, just to relax and have some fun. 
anyways, yeah, the video's over. I'll see you guys later. Um, also, just just really quickly, I will be having uh, more uh, bossing videos as well, so that'll be fun. Um, as you can see, this Helix video wasn't that laggy. It was actually kind of not laggy, which I was pretty surprised about. I was at around 20 frames per second, which is appropriate for a video. I feel 20 frames per second sounds pretty bad, but it's actually kind of appropriate because YouTube uploads at like 30 FPS anyways, so it's not too bad. So um, other videos coming out, Chaos Root Abyss solos for my Fire Poison Mage, I also have footage for my Ice Lightning Mage, which I will also upload. Maybe I'll even do a CRA um, tutorials, because I do um, help my friends with learning the mechanics of CRA, so I'll try to um, put a tutorial video out for you guys. And also, uh, Phantom videos. We're also going to do Phantom bossing videos. He can basically do every boss in the game except for, like, Dorothy, which I'm not really interested in doing, and Chaos Vellum. He's still not strong enough for it, but I'll upload a video about my Phantom doing Chaos Vellum anyways, even if he can't finish it, because I want to show you guys uh, some of my ideas. I have some theories of doing it on a phantom because most phantoms they just go rapid fire and the problem with that is if you don't have massive dps like if you're not capping or uh well not every phantom caps but if you're not doing a lot of dps rapid fire won't work for you that well so i'm currently testing hurricane and hurricane does have a casting delay which could get you killed but I'm currently testing Hurricane because it allows you to jump attack. And the jump attack is so vital because when you're jump attacking, you can basically... It's kind of like suppression fire if you think about it. Basically, you're shooting even though you're running away. And that's very important because rapid fire, you can't really shoot and run away at the same time, which reduces your DPS. But anyways, I've talked long enough. The video ended two minutes ago. Um, Yeah, I'll get more video... I'll get more videos out for you guys. So um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, as always, um, I'll be back for more, I guess, on Thursday.